In this morning's Health Watch, we've got some promising news regarding COVID-19 vaccines and pregnancy. One of the largest reports provides further evidence that the vaccine is safe for women when they're pregnant. The report can be found in the New England Journal of Medicine. Researchers found rates of miscarriage, premature birth, and other complications were all comparable to those experienced in studies before the pandemic. And the women tested received either the Moderna or the Pfizer vaccines. Not any of the women in the study received the Johnson & Johnson single-dose vaccine. And some people experiencing, are experiencing a uh, harmless side effect of the Pfizer and also the Moderna vaccine, swollen lymph nodes. And that is creating concerns with women and mammograms and self-breast exams, according to SLU Care breast surgeon, Dr. Caitlin Farrell. And she joins us this morning. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. It is our pleasure. We want to clear this up because uh, this could cause some confusion and maybe some people would not go out and get vaccinated. So they're feeling a lump and rightly so they should be concerned. But what is the connection to the vaccine with some people? Yeah, that's a great question. So what we're seeing as more people are getting vaccinated, some women, about 10 to 15 percent of women are getting swollen or enlarged lymph nodes under the armpit following the vaccination. That's important for us as breast specialists because swollen or enlarged lymph nodes under the armpit are also a sign of breast cancer. But to your point, I also want to emphasize that the vaccination is not causing breast cancer, but rather it's causing similar appearing swollen or enlarged lymph nodes that can mimic breast cancer. I heard somebody told me that you actually had a patient uh, who, who thought that and, and you wanted to clear that up as well. They, they had a breast cancer diagnosis and they wondered if the vaccine was responsible. Absolutely. I've cleared that up for a number of people because as people are hearing more about this, that's a very, very uh, big concern that a lot of people have. But I want to emphasize again that this is not causing breast cancer, but rather something that we need to look into because it can have a similar appearance. And when your lymph nodes, correct me if I'm wrong, when they get larger, it means they're doing what they're supposed to do, correct? That's exactly right. So the vaccination, <clears throat> excuse me, the vaccination is uh, stimulating the immune system. So in some women, they're getting this normal enlargement of the lymph nodes um, after the vaccination. Now, with breast cancer, that can also be a presenting sign or presenting symptom. So it is something that we want to look into, uh, but it does mean that the vaccine is working. So how long should somebody wait after getting a vaccine to go in and, and have a mammogram? So ideally, if women can wait until or wait or do not do their mammogram until their first vaccination or about four to six weeks following their second vaccination, uh, that's the ideal time that we think would be uh, beneficial. Yeah, probably smart to say, OK, I, I, I received the vaccination in both of them in this arm or the left or right arm so that they know, correct? That's exactly right. What some women uh, may be asked when they come in for their mammogram if they've had a recent COVID vaccination. And that is so that we as breast specialists can know that sometimes these lymph nodes are enlarged and we'd want to know if they receive that COVID vaccination in that arm. Um, because if that is seen on mammogram, then some, some women may need to get repeat imaging about a few weeks to a few months later to make sure that this uh, this enlargement of the lymph nodes actually goes away because the lymph node enlargement that we see with the COVID vaccine is temporary and goes away on its own. Yeah, how long does it last? So we're not exactly sure. We think it lasts uh, no longer than a few months, um, okay. probably closer to a few weeks. Good to know. Dr. Farrell, thank you so much for joining us and clearing up some of that confusion. Absolutely, thank you so much for having me. It's our pleasure. We wanna help.